Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. Doug's Storytime again. Yay! And today, we are going to read an Eric Carle book called The Very Quiet Cricket. And if you remember, we recently, just recently, read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. So, and we thought, that is such a good book. I wonder if Eric Carle wrote any other books. That's why you always want to know the author and illustrator of a book, because if you really like it, you might be able to find out he wrote more books. And Eric Carl did. He wrote a lot of books. Well, we're going to read The Very Quiet Cricket today. It's a good story, so let's get started. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. I'm going to read this here to you a minute. And this is a little uh, information you, uh, that will help you with the story. So we'll read that first. There are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear. But only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. Now let's read The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. If you remember, in The Very Hungry Caterpillar, we found out that caterpillars are born from eggs also. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. And the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. So this big cricket rubbed its wings together to make sound, to say hello. And the little cricket tried, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. And the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. That is our little cricket. And this is a locust. Look at that, that's a praying mantis. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Look at how beautiful Eric Carle's illustrations are, the pictures are. He's an amazing artist. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. And the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Worm crunching its way through the air. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. And the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. It's a spittle bug. And all that stuff around him is froth, bubbles. All these different bugs are saying hi to him. And the small cricket is having a hard time making a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. And the little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. 
Hmm. How are you, a humda bumblebee, flying from flower to flower? The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Look at that big bumblebee. You know what? Speaking of big bumblebee, I think our cricket is getting bigger every time we turn the page. Look how tiny he was there. And oh, he's a little bigger there. And there he's bigger. And look, he's even bigger there. I wonder if that's going to keep going. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding over the water. The cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. That's a dragonfly. And there's our cricket. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. There's all the mosquitoes, and there is the cricket. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. He didn't make a sound. He didn't want to make a sound. He didn't try to make a sound. He just says, a luna moth sailed quietly through the night. And the cricket enjoyed the stillness. Stillness means the cricket enjoyed the quiet. Look at that beautiful moth. That's a Moth is a kind of a butterfly, I think. And they look like butterflies. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time... It sees another cricket. So he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Look at that. Here he is rubbing his wings together, and now they're making a sound. And this cricket likes it. it sounds beautiful. Boys and girls, that's the end of the story. So all through the story, we see the cricket meet all kinds of different bugs. And they're all very nice to him, and they all greet him and say hi. And crickets don't talk, but they do make sound with their wings, if they're males. A male um, cricket is a boy cricket. A boy cricket can make sounds with its wings. But this boy cricket, not when he first got out of the, um, out of his egg, but he did grow. Look how tiny he is there. And by the end of the story, look how big he is. And when he finally enjoyed the quiet and the stillness, of the Luna Moth. Then he was able to rub his wings together one more time. All right, boys and girls. Oh, look, I didn't even notice that picture on the back. That's a great picture. That's the moon, and there are our two crickets. All right, boys and girls, this is called The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. Another very good book by Eric Carl. I really like Eric Carl's work. You know, he also wrote Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I wonder if I have that book. 
I would love to read that to you. All right, boys and girls, maybe I'll look for that one and we'll read it next time. Until then, I'll see you later. Goodbye.